Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this terrific Tuesday here in Connecticut. Life's good, baby. Life is good. You hear that? Guys, I can walk out here right now, and I'm going to go for a bike ride, but I'm not going to do this much. I could do a 200-mile bike ride. Just knock it off. And after 15 seconds, listen to how heavy I am huffing and puffing. That is the level of cardio you get just doing kettlebell. Anyway, different channel. But this ties into what we're supposed to do. You saw the thumbnail. Familiar credo of mine. Play behind the horn. Okay? Perfect example of what I'm talking about. And I will get to that. Anyway, let me honk a little bit. I played quite a bit. See if I've got anything left in the tank. And we will uh, take it from there. get all my hair gray but I still get all my hair guys I have uh, 25 years ago going on 26 years ago I first hooked up with uh, one of my mentors Gary Null and at the time he was the uh, well he still is the absolute last voice the guru the Jerry of the anti-aging thing I was 25 years ago guys stronger, more flexible, and I have more endurance than I did back in my 30s. Okay? The only thing I haven't is the gray. My brothers, younger brothers, by the way, are all bald cue balls. Works, Gary. It works. Anyway, that's the other channel. Okay, play behind the horn. Now, first of all, if the king of kettlebell moves is the two-handed swing, which I do a lot. That snatch is the czar. It is a great, great kettlebell move, but it is advanced. Listen to me, all you guys that have had one lesson with me or lesson with somebody else, and you learn the deadlift and the uh, two-handed swing, you are not ready for that. Do not try to work that out on your own. You just go right to the chiropractor right now, okay? But, the perfect thing about that is, is you know I work with a lot of athletes and specifically pitchers, okay? Is there anything, any single exercise that simulates a pitching motion more than that? Push up, sit up, bench press, no such thing. Now watch, look at that. That is the pitching move in a nutshell. What are you doing when you're pitching? That's what you're doing. Okay? Now, that was a 35 pound kettlebell. How much does a baseball weigh? 5.2 ounces. If I can do 200 of those every day, which I can very easily, with a 35 pound kettlebell or more, a 5.2 ounce baseball is a day at the beach. Different, different channel. All right, but I want to explain that because that move had absolutely nothing to do with upper body or arm. The upper, the, the arms were along for the ride. I feel nothing in my shoulders anywhere. 
it was all done through hyper radiation. Sound familiar where I'm going with this? All done with the core, the tuchus, the quads, the hammies, the lower back, all done with that. This was just along for the ride. Now, those words, just along for the ride, is music to the ears of any baseball pitcher or trumpet player. The chops <laughs> is just along for the ride. You are playing behind the horn. <laughs> and then you just put place the mouthpiece, the trumpet on, and that is a megaphone. It is not electronic. I'm not going to call it a microphone. It is a megaphone. It's purely acoustic. <laughs> I get more compression, more sound with my hands than 90% of the trumpet players out there. Now, there's no... Uh, I don't have the... Um, get it to the back of the room, okay, <coughs> that a trumpet does, the projection. <laughs> but uh, I get it. Now, that is what we're trying to do with the trumpet. <coughs> Clark number three. <coughs> Clark number two. It's all done behind the horn. Guys, how do you develop that? Easy. Guys, it is the spit buzz. It's the spit buzz. That's all there is to it. And that's what the great ones are doing. Now, the minute you put a little bit of pressure on that grip, it holds the grip in. So a lot of ways, this is a crutch. This is a crutch for this. This is why spit buzzing is so important because you are doing it without the crutch of the mouthpiece and the trumpet. Why do you think Harry James, with false teeth, can play so effortlessly? It's behind the horn. <laughs> Fattis, Vizzuti, are you kidding me? Guys, that is what he's doing. Now he's keeping the compression. They are keeping the compression in with you know tongue position, and that, that all comes into it. That's <laughs> behind the horn, guys. Is there any other trumpet player around that would literally pull on the corners while they are producing the sound, and it doesn't affect the sound one bit? I don't do that with the actual trumpet. Because first of all, I'd have to do it. I'd have to get somebody else to do it for me. And number two, that's just asking to cut your lip. Okay, so I don't do it. But guys, that is it. The corners are out of the equation completely. And anybody tells you differently, run away. Run away. Don't even get your money back. Just run away. Okay? That's all. That's all my tongue is moving to just blitz octaves all day long. It's behind the horn. Now, I've said that before. Guys, I'm going to say it again. And how do you produce that? It helps to do kettlebell. Guys, don't do that. Don't do the snatch without. It's an advanced move. Don't do the snatch on your own. Get in touch with me. I'll help you. I'll help you, okay? But that's the deal. The kettlebell will help you because, guys, that's what kettlebell training is. It's hyperradiation. It's transferring all of the stress of those heavy weights. A 35-pound kettlebell as opposed to a 5.2-ounce baseball. Guys, if you have children, if you have nieces and nephews, siblings that have athletic aspirations, get them in touch with me. Guys, this is what I'm doing with the athletics is exactly revolutionary 
what Jerry and I have already done with the trumpet. Revolutionize the way people play. All right? All right. Anyway, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all.